All right, getting, you know, got to turn it around now. We've won two, two at home. we got to go on the road. Big, tough, physical team, very good defensively. They're going to, you know, try to try to bludgeon us uh, down low with their physicality. We'll have a huge challenge grabbing a defensive rebound. Um, so that's going to be a big challenge. Can we get a defensive rebound? Um, can we value the ball on the road and keep our turnover numbers? Um, negligible on the road, that'll be a uh, that'll be a big key as well. You mentioned defensive rebounding. The last couple of games, it seems like it's been a lot better. I mean, have, have it gotten to a level that you're comfortable with? Or no, not comfortable. It's been better, but I mean, we're getting ready to play an elite offensive rebounding team. I mean, elite. If we could keep them between. We need to keep them about 37% to give ourselves a chance to win. If we can keep them at 37% of their defensive rebound, of them getting offensive rebounds, that'll give us a pretty fair shot. So, I mean, that's 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 a high number. Um, but it, it's gotten better. But you know, I mean, Georgia didn't put as much pressure on us as, as South Carolina as South Carolina is. Um, you know, just some of these teams. Mississippi State's a good. We, we did a we did a solid job against Mississippi State. Nothing to write home about, but solid. So. Um, look, I mean, I'll be able to better answer that question after Saturday, but I think it's it's been improved, but it's, you know, we're, we're going to go against the real deal on Saturday. We'll see how it looks. Yeah, you, you mentioned their defense. You're uh, not going to ask about Reese? I'll, okay, I'll start with that. Just what does James Reese, <laughs> what does James Reese <laughs> add to that? that group? That's I, my thought guy. You, I thought oh. for sure I'd had that on the bingo card. You were going to ask a question was, about Reese. That's my guy. Um, look, he's a good player. He can make threes. He's a mid-range specialist. I mean, he can make make all sorts of stuff in the mid-range. He's he's um, he's from South Carolina. He's done a good job coming back. He was at North Texas last year on their NCAA tournament team, a key part of their NCAA tournament team. So he's a really really good player. What was your other question? Sorry. Uh, their defense is you know top 30, 35 in the country. What do they what do they do? Well, how aggressive are they? Well, they're. I mean, you can't reverse the ball. You can't turn the ball. You can't move the ball. Um, they deny. So it's it's uh, um, you know makes it tough to just get into offense. You can't really run your normal sets against them um, because um, you you know they, they just stay on top of everything and force you to force you to play a lot of one on one. And then they're physical, physical, physical. And then they they may push you on the drive and they'll push you right into a charge. They got a guy stepping in to take a charge. So it's it's very difficult to play against and it can be frustrating uh, as an offensive team to play against it. With five to go, do you start talking big picture, stealing one on the road, that kind of stuff, or is it still game to game? Game to game. Everybody knows it's important. Um, you know, we're seven and six in the league. They're six and seven, so this is a huge game in terms of the in terms of the standings um, in the league. And so, um, our guys are uh, our guys are certainly aware of that. We've talked about that, and we hadn't gotten much bigger picture than that at this point. But but they know this is a big game for for the SEC standings. Um, I think Bryant's had a couple of really good games against you. What, what yeah, does he, he had bring? 26 last year. He had 26 last year. He's an offensive rebounding menace. He's a big-time lefty driver. He can make a shot. Um, you know, he, he, he's, he, he's been a real problem for us. He's, he may be the best athlete in the SEC. Um, and certainly not the best. He's one of the best. And, and he's, he's really bothered us the last couple of years I watched our game from last year and I mean he was he had, he had 26 and was was all over the place and so um, he's somebody that we definitely gonna have to do a better job on than we've done in the past tomorrow is, is he similar to Tari a little bit the where he's a very active and I mean he's active I mean their activity level they do it a lot differently um, their activity levels are similar I think they play hard they chase the ball down they go after the ball they're ball getters. Um, that, that that would be that would be a main similarity, but um, you know they 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 get it done in a little bit different ways. Uh, kind, of, kind of speaking on Tari a little bit, you know, mid season I think you kind of challenged him to be a little more aggressive at taking it to the rim and being a little more physical. Just how have you liked how his offensive game has grown? Uh, I guess well, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Tari's I mean, he's playing great. He's continuing to play well. He's continuing to work. Continue to put the time in. You know, he's starting to finish with his left hand. He's starting to finish. You know, I felt like. Uh, some of the ones he misses around the rim could be and ones. He's starting to get in a few more and ones. Um, so, you know, he, he's uh, he's continuing to play well. He's continuing to grow his game. So he's been tremendous force. 
um, all season, and, and hopefully he'll he'll finish the season all strong for us. I have no reason to believe he won't, but he's uh, you know he's continued to get better. He continues to work on his game every day. He's not he's not settling. He's not he's not uh, he's not stopping all the hard work, which is a credit to him. A lot of times when 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 uh, you're getting notoriety, when you're getting getting good publicity, when things are going well. It's human nature to relax a little bit, and he, he he's he's as good as I've seen, as mature as I've seen it. Not relaxing, not um, not uh, you know, not giving in to that to that to that human nature and that pressure, and that's a it's a total credit to, to him. And if you do that, he's going to continue to to play well. Yeah, I think you just I think you just answered my question, but not eating the cheese mentally, he's as locked in as you want him to be. Yeah, he's been he's been um, he's been great. He was over there lifting yesterday, and we walked back together and talked about a couple things. And I mean, he's his head's in the right right spot. He understands, um, you know, what he needs to do. And he's been he's been um, really really good. He's handled his business. You know, he's handling his academic business. He's handling his off the court business in terms of recovery and and doing what he needs to do there. And so, like I said, that's that's hard to do for for. Um, guys that are used to that and for somebody that's kind of uh you know it's a little bit new to it's even harder to do and I say that as a as a total uh credit to him and his mental makeup and and his his overall uh makeup his 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 mother's done a phenomenal job with him in terms of instilling all that uh growing up and and um you know it's 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 been um been really really um fun to watch as a coach and I've been impressed. I keep I've kept thinking a couple times. All right, when am I going to have to step in and and make sure he you know make sure he he keeps doing what he needs to do and stays disciplined and all that. And I haven't had to do that to this point. And that's that's uh, that's incredible. That's about as high a compliment as you can give. I guess kind of pivoting a little bit. A lot of your former players are, are blossoming in, in the NBA right now. I mean, Cam, Trendon, Javante, all are on you know really good runs. Just. What, what, what can you say about just what that means for the program and just how those guys are playing right now? Well, I'm happy for all of them. I'm proud of all of them. I was, we, we all text all the time. Um, uh, we're in group text and individual texts and all that sort of stuff. So pleased with all them. Skyler's actually back right now. He was working out in the gym last night. Um, but, uh, you know, look, I mean, those guys are talented players. They're good players. I'd like to think we gave them a little bit of – know-how and stick to and some grit and some and some toughness that allows them to hang around in there and, and dig their way out you know not all of them are in in you know in in um in plush situations i mean watford's done a phenomenal job javante's done a phenomenal job cam situations quite a bit different but he's got that i mean cam's got i mean his genetics are just off the charts to be able to go into madison square garden i went i went eight after our game the other night after the georgia game and he was on at, at walk-ons where I was eating, and uh, just watching him just go off in the in the fourth quarter was, you know, when he took that last shot, I said, I know that I've seen that, <laughs> I've seen that a hundred times. I know where that thing, I know where that thing's going. Uh, y'all might as well, y'all might as well start heading for the exits. Um, but uh, I mean, it's just incredible. Now he's 19 years old doing that, and that's what I was trying to, you know, you try to explain that to people, and you know, he's got, he's he's got. A lot of it, everybody's got talent. It comes down to makeup, like your mental makeup, and, and he's he's got it. That's what I was saying about Tari. Tari's got a lot of that. We got we got some other guys on our team that that, that, that have that as well, but um, that's what makes Cam special, and Trendon and Javante have done great. I mean, Trendon almost had a double-double the other night. He had nine points, I believe, ten rebounds. Um, he's playing well. You read the stuff out there, you know, Portland, you know, they, they love him, and, and he's found, I think, a, a really, really – good spot a really really good uh good niche for them and so um and Javante obviously putting up huge numbers and, and and getting the two way with the with the heat which has great culture and values his toughness and value, you know values the things that he does really really uh really really well and Nas is playing great and you know we got I keep up with all our guys overseas WAP's actually playing really well there's a lot of guys so so um you know we, we take a lot of pride in that and we're, we're excited for those guys how much does getting Fudge back just give you some extra minutes, some options, and kind of get you back to that seven-eight 
Well, it gives us, you know, we got ten guys, and we got to find eight or nine of them that are ready to play every night. So it just increases your ping pong balls that that you can draw the right number. That's the way I look at it. We got ten guys. You know, we played ten the other night because of some foul trouble. It's not always going to be that way. I'd prefer to probably play eight or nine, but it gives us an increase. And you know, some games are better for guys than others. You know, against A and M, it made sense to play smaller, and you could play Justice and and that sort of thing. You go against a big, physical, long, athletic South Carolina team. Fudge probably makes, you know, it probably makes a little bit more sense in in, in, in some areas than, than some of the other guys. So. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll continue to uh, mature, continue to play well, and 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 we can have some consistency. Um, and so it's you know, those those guys. The hardest part for those guys is playing on the road. That's where the biggest difference is. A lot of those guys are home bodies. That's just natural for for being young kids and and rotation guys. Um, they're much much better at home, and we need that to carry over uh, to the road. And, and, and quickly. So hopefully that'll happen on Saturday. Was that a coach's decision or was that an injury when he missed what? those couple of games? He's, he was injured. I mean, his leg was, he couldn't, he didn't practice his leg. I mean, I, I suppose we could have played him, but uh, his leg was, uh, his leg was hurt. It's another injury. <laughs> if they haven't, I don't want to say it. So, all right. We good? Yeah. All right.